Welcome into the Sporting News Studios for First in 10, your weekly look at college football presented by our good friends at Allstate. I'm Tom Vandervoort, and with us, as always, Matt Hayes, our college football writer. And Matt, a lot of people are calling Rob Akey the former coach at Idaho, but from what I understand, you're calling him the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, it's that time of year again, Tom. Uh, with the season starting to wind down, teams that are losing are starting to be exposed, and now we're starting to look for new coaches. Rob Akey, the first guy officially fired uh, from his job, there's going to be many more. And the thing is, Tom, there's going to be a lot of elite jobs out there for guys that are looking for jobs, for guys that are currently coaching. I mean, you look at Auburn, you're looking at Tennessee, you look at Kentucky also in the SEC, you're looking at Boston College, you're looking at maybe Purdue. There are jobs out there, Cal, very good jobs, Tom. And, and I think the odd thing right now is the number one guy in line, at least it looks that way, is a guy who has lied to his superiors everywhere he's been at every coaching spot, and that's Bob Petrino. So it's a little bit odd how, with all these jobs beginning to open up, he's the guy, top of the list, everybody's going after. And from your point of view, are all these things going to change, or how many are going to change? Do you think we're going to see this massive upheaval, and which ones are justified? Usually in this situation, this time of year, beginning of November, you start seeing these jobs open up. Usually it's around 10, 12. Sometimes it gets a little bit nutty and you get to 15, 18, 20. It's probably going to be an average year. And I think a lot of these are, are really justified. Like you said, I think you look at Tennessee, what Derek Dooley has done and hasn't done, I guess I should say, you know, what Joker Phillips hasn't done there. Uh, Jeff Tefford's had a long time at Cal. It's obviously trending downward there. I think Purdue trending down with Danny Hope. I think you're in a situation right now when you look at these programs, athletic directors are guys that look at trend lines. What's going on right now? Where are we compared to other programs in our conference? And where does it look like we're going? And I think that's the problem right there. If you're a coach and you're struggling a little bit, that's where it's going to come down on you. Now, speaking of trend lines, I'm looking at the Oregon Ducks. And, you know, number two pretty solidly in the polls. But I look at the BCS standings. They were number three last week, the number four this week. So what's going, what's going on with them? Run it up. It's time to run it up, baby. I think if you're, if you're Oregon right now, and you see what's going on in the BCS poll, and you see you're getting jumped by Florida, and you're getting jumped by Kansas State. Again, this stuff will more than likely play out, but on, 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 the, on the chance that it doesn't, and you're Oregon, you better start making yourself look a little bit prettier. It's the middle of the second quarter, and you're winning 43-7, to and you're thinking, you know what, let's take our foot off the pedal, you know, let's get some reserves in. From now on, you better start thinking, you know what, let's push down that pedal, let's get after it. Let's show everyone just how good we can be. And there are a lot of coaches out there that are appalled by that, a lot of coaches who will be upset by that. But you know what? That's the life we live right now in this BCS system. It is a beauty pageant as much as it is a demolition derby. And you've got to go out there and you've got to show, hey, look at us. We're pretty. We're fun. We're fast. We score points. Everybody's got to say, look at me. It's time for everybody to start peacocking. And I think if you're Oregon, Get after it, baby. Score points and show people what you got. In the great tradition of college football, and speaking of making yourself known, you know, Mississippi State undefeated in the SEC. They get to go to Tuscaloosa, and I think of them as undefeated and unknown as opposed to undefeated and untied. What can you tell us about Mississippi State? Tom, I'm going to give you a little resume here, okay? Here's a team that's top 10 scoring defense in the nation, top 30 scoring offense in the nation. Got a quarterback who's thrown 15 touchdown passes and one interception. If I'm throwing that out to you and I'm telling you they're an unbeaten team, you're thinking to yourself, wait a second, this is a top five, six team. This is a team that's got a chance to go all the way. This is a team that has a chance to maybe play in the BCS National Championship game. And then I'm going to tell you something else. They played Troy. They played South Alabama. They played Jackson State. They played Auburn, that big bad powerhouse from the SEC. This will be Mississippi State's first test this weekend, two months into the season, and they play, wait for it, Alabama. And anyone who thinks that all of a sudden Mississippi State's going to be this team that plays close, that gets after it, that's in a game in the third quarter against Alabama because they're unbeaten, because they're this team with all those flashy numbers, they're crazy. It's going to get ugly this weekend in Tuscaloosa because reality will hit for Mississippi State this weekend. So you are absolutely not buying it. That's what not I'm getting from in, you. Not in the least, Tom. This is a team that's been doing it with smoke and mirrors. A nice start, a terrific start actually for Dan Mullen, who will be, by the way, one of those coaches that all those big programs look at. 
but you look at this team and you look at the reality of where they are and who they've played, they've played no one. They've never played a team with the talent and the experience of Alabama, much less any other team in the SEC that they're going to play down the road. This team will get exposed this weekend. All right, there you go. That's Matt Hayes from Florida. I'm Tom Vandervoort here in the Sporting News Studios. Thanks once again to Allstate for sponsoring First and Ten, and we'll see you next time.